Bila shaka uko vizuri kabisa mtazamaji wangu popote pale unazidi kufuatilia double updates mimi naitwa Mr Double J kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa na hisi mengi yanakupita ndugu yangu dadangu ambaye bado hauja subscribe kwa hiyo nakupa sekunde moja, mbili, tatu, hakikisha kwamba unajiunga na familia kwa kusubscribe kumbuka hiyo itakupa nafasi ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments utakuwa umetisha kinoma noma kama utaniachia bendera ya nchi yako kama wewe ni mtu ambaye unafuatilia kutokea nje au kutoka nje ya plus 254 lakini kwa wale ambao wako nyumbani msiogope kuniambia mnanifuatilia kutoka mkoa gani Kenya ishakuwa nchi yetu tutafanyaje hatuwezi tukahepa si ndio anyways twende kwenye mada yetu kama kuna kitu kimoja ambacho inabidi tukubaliane ni kwamba serikali huwa ina mchango kwa vifo ambavyo huwa vinatokea wakati maandamano inafanyika kivipi naweza nikaleta comparison uh, moja ni wakati ambapo Raila Odinga anakuwa na rally au anaenda sehemu fulani kwa mfano juzi kati hapa mmeona Raila alivotembea uh, uh, mjini alivosalimia watu alivozungumza na watu watu walikuwa wamejaa kama kawaida lakini niambie ni incident gani ambayo uliona watu akiiba vitu Niambie ni tukio gani ambalo lilitokea mtu akapoteza maisha yake? Niambie nani alilia kwamba vitu vyake havikuenda vizuri hiyo siku? Ilikuwa very peaceful kabisa. In fact vitu vilienda sawa kabisa au sobana. Lakini angalia kwa upande mwingine. Watu wanapoingia street kulalamikia serikali. Na namna ambavyo serikali inawa treat vibaya. Vifo huwa vinatokea wakati ambapo serikali hii inatuma polisi kuenda kukabiliana na wananchi. Vifo huwa vinatokana na polisi kushambulia mwananchi. Nani huwa anatuma polisi? Serikali. Sio kama unanielewa mtazamaji wangu. So hata waseme kwamba oh maandamano inafanya watu wanakufa, maandamano inafanya watu watu jibu kitu kimoja tu. Watu huwa wanakufa kwa njia gani? Ansa ni direct tuspoteze muda kuna mengi ya kuzungumza. Polisi huwa wanaua watu kutumia bunduki. It's that simple. Sawa. Sasa barua iko hapa. William Samuel Ruto anatakiwa kuiona hii barua uh, kutoka United Nations Human Rights na hii kabisa imetoka kwa Office of the High Commission. Media statement. Title hapa ni comment by UN Human Rights Office Spokes person Jeremy Lawrence on Kenya protest uh, Geneva 14 July 2023 Now wacha tusikilize ni kitu kipi ambacho wanasema The UN Human Rights Office is very concerned by the widespread violence and allegations of unnecessary or disproportionate use of force including the use of firearms by the police during protests in Kenya Reports say up to 23 people have been killed and dozens dozens injured in the demonstrations in the past week. We call for prompt through independent and transparent investigations into the deaths and injuries. Those responsible must be held to account. Effective measures to prevent further deaths and injuries must be adopted. In light of calls for further protests next week, We call on the authorities to ensure the right to peaceful assembly as guaranteed by the Kenya Constitution and international human rights law. The policing of protest must seek to facilitate peaceful assemblies and any use of force must be guided by the principles of legality, necessity, proportionality and non-discrimination. Firearms should never be used to disperse protests. We appeal for calm and encourage open dialogue to address social, economic and political grievances with the aim of identifying lasting solution in the interest of all Kenyans. Ends. Siko mbona nielewa mtazamaji wangu. So hapa United Nations uh, uh, United Nations Human Rights point ya kwanza ambayo wanajaribu kutonyesha ni kwamba kinachoendelea hapa serikali itakuwa inahusika 
na wanajua vizuri kwa sababu ni wao ndio wanatuma polisi so mauaji inapotokea alafu utaona tu reaction ya akina Kindiki akina Ruto so you can imagine hawa watu wanaenda kutembelea polisi ambao waliumia sisemi kwamba polisi atakiwi kutembelewa akiumia nataka tuelewane sisemi kwamba mimi na, 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 na his, kwa sababu ni, ni wananchi pia it's okay wakienda kutembelewa na bosi wao fresh it's okay but hakuna hata mmoja ambaye anaweza akatembelea mwananchi ambaye amepata injury or familia ambazo zimepoteza watu wao jiulize ni kwa sababu gani polisi ndio hiyo pati ya serikali si ndo serikali ni mwatuma. so in any yani in any way anaweza kapatana na matatizo fulani watatafuta namna ambao watashughulika but on this other side itabidi itabidi wabaki hivyo hivyo kwa sababu wana fight hii serikali hao wananchi ambao unakuta wengine wako hospitali walipigwa na nini wako hapa lakini uwezi ukaona kama kweli walikuwa wanajali na hawana nia mbaya na hawaliti vifo na wao hawachangii vita kutokea trust me wangekuwa wanatembelea polisi na wanatembelea pia na wananchi but angalia wanatembelea polisi na tayari nakuonyesha tu mtu na mtu wake angalia kinachoendelea hapa ni mtu na mtu wake polisi na kome akina kalonzo akina matakarua na wananchi now that's what's going vita ambayo ipo sasa hivi ni vita ya polisi na wananchi vita yenyewe watu wasichokijua ni kwamba polisi wana represent William Samuel Ruto. Yaani unaona polisi, yaani ukimwona polisi anapiga mwananchi ambaye ana protest. Jua huyo ni Ruto anapiga mwananchi lakini sasa indirect. Ruto mwenyewe anajua vizuri kabisa hawa wana protest kwa sababu ya uongozi wangu mbovu ambao inaendelea hapa. Ukweli uongo. Ndio kitu ambacho inaendelea. Hawa UN wanasemaje? Polisi au mtu yeyote huo unatoka wapi huo unafanya nini yani upo kwenye yani idara yoyote ya usalama hautakiwi kutumia risasi kutawanya watu ambao wanafanya nini nini yao protest kuna utofauti gani by the way wakati Raila alikuwa uh, nani usii Kenya ta market wakati Raila alikuwa town na hizi zingine huaga inakuwa ni wanakuwa gani yani fresh tu mbona watu wanaenda tu sawa watu wanaenda sawa lakini kwa sababu ya aibu yao Hawataki watu waone kwamba ah kumbe hawa hawa kina Ruto kumbe hawafanyi vizuri ndio maana watu ni wengi hivi hiyo aibu ya like bro you are calling yourself a president who was elected with over 6 million people then mwenzako ambao ulimshinda ambao unadai ulimweka chini naye akiita watu wa kujitokeza wanajitokeza alafu wana yani ni aibu fulani Like sometimes hata na waga nafikiria hata sio sometimes kinachoonekana ni kwamba Ruto mwenyewe ajiamini na kura ambazo alizipata sababu kama unaweza ukadisperse watu kwa sababu wanaandamana <coughs> sorry ndio isionekane kwamba ai huyu mtu ana watu wengi na nini then inamaanisha kuna kitu ambacho unaogopa wacha sasa tu, wa, wacha wacha ground ya muwe si yeye analaumu Raila hataki yeye hataki kuzungumzia wananchi so anaona Raila ndo anadanganya wananchi so wananchi ndo ni wapumbavu so inaonekana wananchi ndo watumie kili waone like Raila anawapoteza kama Raila anawapoteza umati ambao unaonaga unafuata Raila Odinga nataka kuniambia watumie kili hawajui kinachoendelea niambie ni kitu gani ambacho Raila anazungumzia Ruto hajui taxi Ruto anajua iko juu reforms za IBC si Ruto mwenyewe anajua inatakiwa kwenda vipi Ana he, he knows everything nini nini nini, nini kitu, kitu gani kigeni ambacho Ruto hajui na azungumzii kabisa yeye anazungumzia oo oh, amefanya maandamano watu wamekufa so the reason why he waga na dwell sana kwenye issue ya watu wamekufa ni kwa sababu ya kuweka watu uoga like mstoke mkitoka mtauawa na ukimuuliza nani aongeleaje mtu ambaye anaua mtu yani these people they are always funny very funny siku na time walituambia wao watu walikuwa wanachukua pesa sijui ilikuwa wapi huko watu walikuwa wanachukua pesa wapi um, 
sio treasury ama wapi wanapeleka Wilson Airport na ndege wanasafirisha manyumbani kwao cash kwa magunia lakini hawasemaji ni nani wakasema sio watu sio wanachomo kwenye container fulani karibu na state house hawasemi hata ni nani anachoma eni watu hapo tu bora tu wameongea kujaribu kuchanganya watu this time brown i'm telling uh, william samoruto kwamba kupiga raila kwa mdomo haitawezekana that's the truth sasa hivi kupiga raila kwa mdomo haitakuwa kazi rahisi sasa hivi raila is either umpige kwa kazi ama akupige kwa sasa akupige through watu kwa sababu inamaanisha kama uwezo kufanya kazi utakuwa adui ya watu once ukishakuwa adui ya watu we utakuwa ni ruto tu jina sio ruto present ruto jina na kwa sababu raila ndo anaongoza kwenye kuwa kuwatetea raila ndo wata, watampa heshima heshima yako wewe itadidimia kama eh, mtu ambaye alikuwa anajiita president so kuna tabia fulani inabidi waache wazungumzie vitu ambavyo watu wanataka waache watu waonyeshe dunia nzima yani wacha dunia nzima ijue kwamba we are not happy hatujaribishwa na serikali hii hapa kwa sababu kazi hazifanyiki namna ambavyo vinatakiwa kufanyika naelewa mtazamaji wangu so it's very simple hapa so yeye yeah, endelee tuna vitisho Anas, alisema si amesema huko nakuru kwamba sitakubali sijui maandamano yifanyike sitakubali amesema mara ngapi hata kubali sijui vifo vitokee so hivyo vingine anakuaga na kubali <laughs> si bado anakuaga na kata lakini inafanyika wewe oh, unasema eti hautakubali wewe utakubali nini ni mara ngapi umesema hautakubali tupi yani wacha, wacha raila apigane na william samoruto kisiasa sio kuweka polisi nyie ndo watu ambao mlikuwa mnalilia state capture oh mnatumia polisi vibaya mnatumia DCI vibaya mnatumia nani vibaya kwenda kukamata kina watu fulani mm-hmm. kama ni kushindana shindana na agwambo kwa ground so the only thing ambayo inaweza kukutoa nje ni kuifanya kazi hapo utakuwa umemtoa agwambo kwenye point yani kwenye kwenye line kabisa but wewe ufanyi kazi una expect uendelee kudanganya danganya huko nje watu wa kuamini watakuamini vipi tell me how do you want them to trust you bro you talked for five years ukiwaahidi tu ukiwaambia tu namna wengine hawajui namna wewe ndio unajua namna watu walifail kwa sababu haukuwa ulifukuzwa U, ulipata you still you are just still talking 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 to act bro fanya kitu fanya kazi hao watu waone like these people is fanya kazi waone fanya kazi wataona they will be like no these people are doing something these people are doing something and inabidi tum support uwezo ka support mtu afanye kitu people are telling us so support the government but you are supporting people who are doing nothing how will you support them ni nini poa sasa hivi mimi naweza nikazungumza hapa sasa hivi ni nini wewe niambie ni nini naweza nikazungumza leo hakuna ni tumekuwa disappointed mtu atakuja hapa kuniambia oh, give, give him time bro you are giving somebody time hata dalili za kufanikisha vitu fulani havioneka yani vitu vinaendelea kuwa wazi mimi nashangaa sana na watu so awache ku threat yeye yeah, ana threat kwa sababu ana polisi watatoa order kuomi ya kina nani kindiki bungei ya kina nani waende wapige watu wafukuze watu ni aibu acha kutumia nguvu nyingi yani wewe kama wewe kuja wewe kama wewe tu, tuone nani anaaminiwa kwa ground ni nani sasa atasikilizwa kwa ground so long as william samoruta atafanya kazi situation itabaki hivyo hivyo Yaani hakuna hata siku hata moja utai kuconvince mtu kwamba oh si eh, si nilikuwa nasema si acheni I think uh, kuna audio hapa nataka tusikilize uh, ya Peter Salasia eh, ana point nzuri sana hapa ana point nzuri sana hapa naomba eh, naomba tumsikilize japo kidogo tu tumsikilize anasemaje kuhusu vitisho ambavyo William Samoruto ametoa um, uh, 
I just want to speak this one to the nation and uh, for my friends, uh, for my friend William Ruto and um, the young politicians around him, I had them working uh, at Jopevu and others. And even I had William Ruto asking people's skill when it's like an Indian man, I am telling him that was the same at Rajua Raila. Raila is a man Raila Monodinga has reached today. Raila Monodinga is an institution on his own. Raila Monodinga, when he just calls for a press and announces that Nairobi should stop, Nairobi will stop. When he says that Madamara to be across the... And he doesn't need money. Sometimes you people you are thinking that Raila is uh, giving out money to... Raila Monodinga, his word is final. And I want to tell you that if Raila Molodinga wants to sink you, he will sink you. Come and security, Raila Molodinga, you will do you. But it was security, Raila Molodinga. Say Raila Molodinga, and I live in a mataifa. And I live in a wanainch. So there's nothing that you can't go to and you can't go to Raila Molodinga. And I want to tell you that what Raila Molodinga is just asking a few things. And this country goes on. He doesn't need even to have a handshake with you. But just like... I'm talking about reforms in IPC, which I do, I do support. We need to devolve the IPC from this bombers of Kenya, United States of America. Every county put the federal system, and that is what we want. So that you come and again, what we talk declare, we don't want a commission of, of IBC. Now, when you announce, you announce your company cost, you know what to cost to announce. If you announce your company, what to Kakamega County, when I announce, when I let a hapa judiciary, judiciary system, eh, do when I declare here the vitus attack. The mamma yama taxes easy, mamma yama manuma. We don't want the houses right now. People, people are so, I so, I so, I so much uh, pressed up. Life is so high. We don't need right now those things. Those things can be done without even taxing Kenyans. Eh? Like in Morocco, where I, where I was, it's, it's, it should be voluted. And that is leadership. You cannot just come and impose things. And the same That's what we are saying. Eh, I'm not doing that. I can say my what what demonstrate. And by the way, from what other Jews in the Nigeria, when you know what you media at the TV, but with the power of the social media, VPN, nini nini, similarly, when when you come say my at the other speaker, other speaker, like in this movie, feel. So I just want to tell you that the more you speak with a lot of anger, the more you make it now easier for the Kenyans now to act. And if you continue, even those policemen. That you are saying you are, you are saying that you are going to use to intimidate the Kenyans, they will also turn against you because they are also feeling the pain. No one is no one is enjoying. No one is enjoying. Everyone is just struggling. No one is enjoying. Others is Whatever small we get, like we come up with a value on the background because yani yani unangalia mutoshida ada wala jumia. So that is why we are saying that. Tone down. I'm being a little bungy. Ah, to 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 kara sidi kara vikra vikra chopevu. To kara ya jamu ngat na semo na kidaisha kwenye one GB. Kwanza ni mengine si one GB. Kwanza kutisha raila. Raila mala dinge za institution. Raila mala amewana mengi. And the moment you touch raila mala dinge, you have touched the heartbeat of this nation. Ana hicho salasia. I think I'm. Um, eh... Ametoa tamko si ndio amezungumza point flani nzuri sana kwamba the more um, zakayo anatumia anga flani the more anaharibu the more hata wanamuona kama mtu flani ambaye he doesn't care na nini so whether tunahangaika tuhangaiki ni kitu ambacho anafikiria ni mtawa mtasiwa mtawafanya nini si asemaje watafanya nini lakini wanakuambiaga ujaribu si nini nini wewe wewe bila 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 polisi haya <laughs> tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata bye bye